Hello everyone, this is the Split Screen Squad here with our very first playthrough. Spiral the really? Dragon. The screen is saying it's activation. Oh fuck you. And toys for Bob. Oh fuck you both. <laughs> fuck you who both. Who is Bob? <laughs> yeah, who is Bob anyway? I don't know yeah. either. And imagine <laughs> being named Unreal Engine, right? What kind of a name is that? Imagine, right? If your parents hate you so much, they name you Unreal because they wish you were Unreal. As in, they wish just, you were just, Unreal. We're playing imagine, the Spiral imagine. Reignited trilogy, got everyone. Playing the Spiral Reignited oh. trilogy. This is our first playthrough, and this is the one I've done. In the world of dragons, oh, I was trying to do a mystic voice, and I failed miserably. Yes, you absolutely I did. To... You absolutely fucking did. <laughs> I'll all try right, to get so, it right the next um, time, okay? <laughs> alright, alright, so let's give a little bit of an explanation for um, for the colorblind people among us. Uh, Spyro the Dragon <laughs> is about a yellow dragon who goes on a adventure to save all his really handsome looking... I shouldn't be simping. No, you should not. <laughs> At least until the next game. Which I will give a warning because of a certain thing that I'm going to talk about in the second game. I recorded one in three on the, on the PS5, well, PS4 version. Two is the Switch version. So there will be some noticeable slowdown during that version. Okay, if you, if you, you, if you were really dedicated, you would have made one, you would have recorded one of the games on the PS4. You would have recorded one of them on the PC and one of them on the Switch. Meh. That way you can really show the difference between I, all of them. I grew up on the fucking P on Sony consoles playing these games, motherfucker. Um, if anything, I'm playing. I would have played all three of them on the goddamn on goddamn Sony Sony console. Goddamn Sony so console. So, so why did you record one of them on Switch then? Um, I'll, I'll we'll talk about that when we actually start the second game. You hear uh, that, guys? He doesn't have an argument ready, so he just says wait for the next game. No, I have an argument ready, motherfucker. But fine, since we're <laughs> so fine, since we're recording this, then going to G San Andreas. Basically, I didn't know there was a cheat code to disable per uh, permanent super flame until after I recorded two. Ah, oh, that explains it. Yeah. Right. And I already 100%ed this game tw game twice because I actually did a let's play of this game. Ooh, nice. Yeah. On, uh, all right, on. so I guess this is the part where I talk about my experience with the game. Um, until very recently, I mm, was actually quite unfamiliar with the Spyro franchise. The only experience I have with this is playing one of the PS1 games. I don't even know which one, probably the original, but... It's been so long ago, so I, I don't remember. I played it at a hospital. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, because they had like they had like a kids' corner for. Um, I keep in mind it. This was in like 2009, I want to say. So it makes mm. more sense why they would have a PS1. Would not make as much sense as why they have PS1 without a memory card, but. Again, it, it's it's for like brief visits to the hospital with your kids being impatient. So, true. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, point is, I I played this on a PS One with like DualShock controller and all in the in the hospital because my God, I spent a lot of time at the hospital as a kid. It wasn't for me, by the way. I was pretty healthy as a kid. No, it, it was. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 Yeah. Just, just leave it at that then. But yeah. Uh. So, basically, long story short, or long story less longer, because I kind of tend to drag out my stories. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So back in back in 2021, and I kid you not, there was this Discord server I was in. This dude was um, well, was playing the Reignited trilogy and and you know made some screenshot and shared it of some of the characters and I was like interesting and then I realized oh yeah I got this game on the PS4 all the way back in 2019 when I actually got my PS4 and then the moment it came to PC 
I did not buy it. Instead, I at one point got a humble bundle, which contained a Steam version for the Spyro Reignited trilogy, Call of Duty Mo um, World War II, and the Crash Bandicoot Insane trilogy for like twelve dollars. And I'm gonna be perfectly honest, considering that. I got so much value out of them, and that's without having played the third game, by the way. I only 100 percented the first two games. I got that's so like much me. value out of it, and it, it, it feels criminal. Alright. And also, for those of you wondering, I'm not going to be doing doing the Crash games. The Edgy is, because he made a big stink about it. Yep. <laughs> Look. I honestly wouldn't oh. mind have done doing the Crash games, but I'll let let him do it. Oh, okay, but you you, I mean, if you say if you say you don't mind doing all the Crash games, then where where are your all platinum relics through the entire trilogy? Oh fuck you, uh -huh. fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, got I bad. am the biggest Crash fan, and I am entitled to the entire Crash Bandicoot franchise. But I'm only gonna do the insane trilogy. Someday. <laughs> um, so I guess it's my turn to talk yeah. about, um, like, Spyro and me. Um, I'm not sure if I told you, you this, but, like, um, we got our PlayStation just, like, when, uh, I was in, like, uh, high school and my brother was just starting high school. So we were around that age when, um, <clears throat> like, Spyro and Crash were coming out for the cool. system. And I remember when we got Crash, that was like the game that my brother would play non-stop. He would not let me touch. But when Spyro came along, this was the game that um, I absolutely loved as a kid. Like, when the Reignited Trilogy was announced, I was just super excited for, like, the return of Spyro. Because, you know, up until that point, we didn't really have a lot of Spyro stuff. Unless you count the Skylander stuff. We don't talk about Skylander, no. Yeah. I do want to yeah, interrupt you real talk. quick, D-pad. No, I did not get all the skill points in these games. Aww. Fake fan. <laughs> hey, wh but, why, don't you, um, why don't you go and bang your head to the wall like Spyro was doing right there? The only reason I did that is because Activision... Uh, is, is because Toys Rob hasn't given us anything involving that fucking door. <laughs> also, some of you might have known now, just now have noticed, oh hey, I'm playing with the um, classic model. I actually really like the aesthetic of PS1 models on PS4. They look really yeah. nice. They do, they do, they do. And I am playing with the, with the original soundtrack. I'm not doing the uh, reignited soundtrack. Okay, this is the part where you get to call me a fake fan because I didn't know there was a cheat code for you for having the original soundtrack and the PS1 model. Uh, soundtrack is actually in the options. Yeah, you can switch between the original soundtrack and the remastered uh, soundtrack, which I kind of did both. Like when I was playing through the games, honestly, like a couple levels, I did like the classic newer like the later levels i did like the newer like the new soundtrack um i'm with yu yu I, I i like the original soundtrack a lot better for this game like um <clears throat> the question i wanted to ask you guys was what were your thoughts when this game was like announced like the trilogy was announced complete unadulterated joy <laughs> there's only yeah, one truly there's one thing you need to you need to realize, and that's that by the time this game got announced, I didn't have a PS4, and the way these games were presented, like this game and the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, at the time they were both um, PS4, PS4 exclusive. Exclusives, yeah. And yep. they they were so for a pretty long time. So at the time, mm -hmm. I I didn't care about it. So when it was announced, I was like, okay. And, and then I started playing GTA 5 online again on my Xbox One because that's how much of a hashtag gamer I was at the time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Although, no, wait, wait, wait. No, that was 2017 that it got announced, right? I believe mm -hmm. so. 
Yes. Okay, so um, by that by that sorry. time, I wasn't in my Xbox phase anymore. I was in my uh, PC phase. Although that's not mm -hmm. saying something because I still am in my PC phase. When he eats mm -hmm. butterflies, he stays strong, <laughs> like me. Uh, sure. By the way, you, um... You gonna simp for that dragon edgy? No. <laughs> <laughs> there's only... Look, alright, there's only one dragon that I simp for, and it's not in this game. But, uh... <laughs> so, so one, th one thing I want to bring attention to, because I, I don't know if this is, you know, true or not, um, the voice actor is the same in yeah. the trilogy and PS1 game, right? No. Well, I was just going uh, to get to that. In the first game, Spyro was voiced by Carlos Alacuacua, the guy who voiced um, Rocco in Rocco's Modern Life. He also, Second he, I should onwards, point out that Carlos, you, you, D-pad, D-pad. I was trying to say I know, something. I know, and I'm, and I'm explaining it. I know. <laughs> Second game and the third game, he was voiced by Tom Kenny, who is the person mm -hmm. who is voicing Spyro in the Reignited trilogy. Hold, hold the fuck up! Isn't that also the guy who who voices SpongeBob? Yes. Yep. Huh. Spyro was one of uh, Tom Kenny's earliest voices. Yeah. In Hero's Tale, he was voiced by Jess Harnell. Mm -hmm. Who, but while I like a Hero's Tale, yeah. While I don't mind Jess Harnell, he should not have been Spyro. He should not have been Spyro. Yeah. Yep. And then in Legend of Spyro, he was voiced by Elijah Wood. Yeah. Which I thought he did a really good job voicing Spyro for that series. Yeah, he did. The only character yeah. that I don't think anyone liked was their version of Sparks. Sparks was voiced by David Spade in the first one. David Spade second in, new, one. In, new, in the first game. Yeah. Billy West yeah. in the second. And, uh, and Wayne Brady. Yeah, Wayne Brady in the third one. Mm. I don't like how they wrote him in the, in the Legends trilogy. They write him as a snarky yeah. dick. And it's like, the snarky is more annoying than funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I, I, I can pretend that, that I know what you guys are talking about, but again, I, I only played like <laughs> the first two games in the Reignited trilogy. Yeah. Mm. There's a flower I, I, over I, I, I just, I just near know. that turn I took while chasing this guy. That's the skill point for the stage. Yeah. I hated getting the skill points as a kid. Like I, I, yeah, just, this... I got frustrated with them. <laughs> This game, they really should not have added the skill points. I mean, granted, yeah. they're better than put than than the than, uh, than the insane trilogy putting in time trials in the first and second games. As somebody who oh, got all the time platform trials. time trials on Crash Bandicoot, I can confirm. <laughs> but it's like they, See? I don't like the skill points in these games. I mean, yeah. In the in the original games, they're totally fine. These ones, they should not have been done because what that gets you is a fucking art gallery. Even in two and three, which in those two games, getting all the skill points actually net you a epilogue. They took out that epilogue, and that's fucking stupid. What was stupid. the epilogue again? What? What was the epilogue again? Basically, after. Like after game stuff. No, like what was it like about like what exactly happened? Basically, just random characters getting into random shenanigans. <laughs> and it's like, why did you get rid of a, the fucking epilogue? Well, you see, <laughs> you you in the modern age, you have to realize the the modern age a remaster gives, but it also takes away. Yeah, you know, that's that's the way how it works nowadays. If a game gets remastered, you should be happy, but you should also be scared because you know that in one way they're going to absolutely fuck it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell, I, I don't I'm like the there, credits I'm in this game. I'm actually a Grand Theft Auto fan. I'm still pissed. 
I don't like the credits of the of the Reignited Trilogy because they take away how cool the credits were in the original game. Yeah, they were like coming at you like in the original. They were they games. were basically pans of each of the levels. And it's like yeah. now we just get a boring black screen with a few pictures going by sometimes. Yeah. And like, the pictures uh, don't change on the game. It's all the same it's, credits. It's the same thing. And it's just yep. Spyro doing stuff with the dragons of the, of the dragon world. And it's like... God, you guys fucking suck. Yeah, I, I don't like the credits in Reignited Trilogy because they credit Activision. <laughs> are, are, are we still uh, on the Activision hate train? Are we, are we still on there? In this case, we'll get in, uh, we're not going to get in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, let's 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 not say anything that's gonna get us in trouble. Uh, oh no, I, I I'm not I'm not talking about the the like, what was it, 2021 thing? You know, just right before they got taken, or quote unquote taken over uh, by Microsoft. But I mean, like that still hasn't gone and, through as of this recording. Cause Sony's you know, being a bunch of whiny babies. The, look, the the one thing that I just <laughs> find hilarious about the Microsoft Activision acquisition. Is that it basically has the same energy of two parents, and the parents in this case are, you know, Sony and Microsoft. They're not actually going through a divorce because they, ne they were never together. But it has the same energy, right, as two divorced parents who are trying to come to a settlement with the kid, and the kid is Activision. But the kid just keeps pulling, getting pulled between the two parties, and the more the more the lawyers and the whatnot will get involved, the more painful the eventual result will be. Yeah. But you know it's not going to have mm -hmm. a happy ending. No. Nope. Yeah, but, but, it's but no, not. The, the, the thing I'm talking about is one of the main reasons why I'm absolutely pissed at Activision is because they effectively rebooted or like relaunched or revived Crash and Spyro only to then kill kill them again. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, Crash, Crash apparently has that... has that upcoming game, yeah. which pisses me off, by the way, because why can't you have Spyro get something? Apparently, there's a rumor that Spyro's supposed to be getting a new game coming out. I I would rather have seen that instead of the fucking Wumpa thing. Wumpa League. Wumpa League, yeah. Honestly, Wampa League kind of feels like it's like Crash Overwatch, honestly. Which is honestly a better idea than normal Overwatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, by the way, this is like my favorite level in the game. Oh, Dark the first game, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. I think Stonehill is a better artisan level. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to point that out. <laughs> I don't know why they added so many books to this level in the remake, though. That's. I think that's why I liked this, like the level playing through it again, just because of all the books. Because I'm a huge bookworm. Yeah. Ah, you're a bookworm, huh? Name every book. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't think there's a book title that. Then again, I wouldn't be surprised. Although I also wouldn't be surprised if it's just one of those books with no words in it, only for the people to sell on Amazon, so they could exploit those who buy it for memes. It's called Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you were scared. Yes, that is a data joke. That is a data joke. I get. I know. I get. I know. I uh, yeah. The yep. armor is fireproof, yeah. but a charge attack will take care of them. But yeah, you saw me burn at least a few of those enemies. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I will admit, a part of me finds it interesting why a lot of enemies in this game are so easy to deal with. But then I realize that, you know, this is... This is what? I mean... Well, I'm not gonna say a kid's game, but it needs to be child accessible, so... It, no, it's probably yeah, that, a kid's game. It's probably a kid's game. Yeah. 
It, the first game is better I, approachable I, I than than the original version of Crash One. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's not the, that's that's not a difficult thing to achieve, and you have to realize by right. the time that this game came out, Crash is already three games in. As a matter mm -hmm. of fact, by the, by the time this game came out, well, a lot of people would argue that right, Crash yeah. al has already run its course. Yeah, I, I always yeah. actually keep forgetting. Getting this was the I believe this was the only game, a uh, Spar game, that of the original trilogy that did not have a crash demo attached to it. It wasn't. No, the original trilogy. I mean. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. Okay, Sorry. yeah, yeah, because Crash, because Spyro Two has had CTR, and Spyro Three had Year of the Dragon. Mm hmm. Um. Wait, Spiral 3 Year, had Year, Year Spiral 3 was Year of the Dragon. Game. Yeah. You talking you mean you're Crash talking about Crash Bash. But anyway, that is the end of this first episode. Thank you all for watching. I have these go on for two minutes, but we might not even use them. <laughs> Unless if there's anything else that anyone wants to say. No, you know, I, I'm good. I, I really want one of those dragons to sit on me. <laughs> of course you do.